Hey there, so I'm Liam, I'm 19 years old, I'm mildly deaf and I wear hearing aids in both ears. So basically NDCS put out a call for new deaf vloggers and I thought, why not? At the moment I'm currently at the University of Lincoln studying journalism so I thought this would be perfect. After all, I thought it would be a good idea to share my experiences and hopefully that can prompt some more discussions and get you inspired as well. So I thought for my first vlog that I could talk about politics and how you can get in touch with your MP. And I know what you're thinking, but I find politics confusing. How does it affect me? And how can I get involved? And to be honest with you, I felt the same for quite a while. I was on the NDCS Youth Advisory Board last year, and one of the things that we were told about was campaigning. Now, I was a bit unsure about what this meant and how this could help and how this could affect me. However, over time, I came to realise that it's actually a great way in getting involved with issues that affect you. Speaking of campaigns, NDCS do have their own campaigns which you can get involved with. For example, there's My Life, My Health, which is all about audiologies and health services being as accessible to deaf young people as possible. Then there's also Look, Smile, Chat, which is all about deaf awareness and the communication needs for deaf young people. So basically, there's a lot of ways in which you can get involved with campaigning. So anyway, let's go back to my time on the NDCS Youth Advisory Board. During my time on the board, I got involved by meeting politicians and getting in touch with people from the NHS. And over time, I realised just how important it is to get involved and to speak to people who are making big decisions that can affect your everyday life. So an MP or a Member of Parliament, what exactly do they do? Well, an MP is a person you can vote for who has a say in big issues in Parliament and can vote on them and can also represent your beliefs and your views on a national level. And the great thing is about that is that you can get in touch with them and you can make sure that your voice is heard. I'll put some more information about how you can contact your MP in the description box below, but there's a variety of ways that you can meet them, contact them and tell them what issues affect you. For example, as deaf young people, we all have shared interests. For example, we want to have good quality audiology services. We want to make sure that everyone that we speak to is deaf friendly and helpful and can understand the needs and how we communicate. So therefore, it's important to make sure that those views are shared with politicians to make sure that they don't make any changes that you won't be happy with. In my case, I met a lot of politicians last year when I went to the Conservative Party conference. Basically, that's where all of the Conservative politicians group together and talk about their policies ahead of the next general election or just to have a discussion about what the party's doing. And the great thing is about this is that you can arrange meetings of MPs and key ministers and share your thoughts on deaf issues. And that's what I did. I was able to meet key MPs on positions on education, health and audiology and tell them my views as well as shared views of all deaf people. One of the key MPs that I was able to meet is Justin Tomlinson. Now his role in government until June this year was as the Minister for Disabled People. The Minister for Disabled People basically has some key decisions to make in terms of disabled students allowance and personal dependence payments for example. Through meeting him I was able to talk about key issues such as disabled students allowance, personal independence payment and British Sign Language. After the Conservative Party conference, that was the main point that got me interested in making sure that my voice was heard when it comes to politics. And what's great is at the end of every meeting with every MP I spoke to, there seemed to be a sense that what I said was being taken into account. And that's a great thing for deaf people and for anyone knowing that their views are being taken into account. Which is why with this video, I hope that this can inspire you to get in touch with your MP and share your thoughts with them. So if there's something that you're not quite happy about, or if you want to see changed in your local area or on a national level, then why not get in touch with your MP? Perhaps you want to see more British Sign Language lessons in school, or perhaps you want to see something change in your audiology service. Or then why not get in touch with your MP, sharing your thoughts and experiences, and you never know, that might go somewhere. From my experiences with MPs, there's nothing more valuable to them than personal first-hand experiences. Basically, it's about finding something that you really do care about. And for me, it's issues affecting deaf young people. If you tell them what you find difficult in everyday life or what you want to see changed and how that affects you, that could often lead to some big decisions being made. And of course, that's a great thing, right? We all want to see the lives of deaf young people improve for the better. So that's it for this video. Like I said, more information about how you can get in touch with your MP is in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, why not click the like button, share it with your friends and family and click the subscribe button down below or just here. There'll be new videos videos on this channel every Sunday so do make sure you're subscribed to keep up with all the latest videos. So if you have any questions or comments about this video and you want to share your opinions you can do so in the comment section down below and I'll be back again next month with a new video. See you then.